but I do want to give the floor again to Mr. Ho Yong. Well, as a matter of fact, I'll be very, very brief. I was listening to Zhang, Zhang David and then his view about uh, the framework, which reminded me about two episodes, which uh, I think uh, I can, uh, I can uh, share with you without too much damage to, to the G20 process. When we were preparing for the first G20 summit in, uh, in, in Washington, D.C., then Korea prepared five-point memorandum and then submitted it to the American presidency. And then first point in that uh, five-point memorandum was, let us strengthen macroeconomic coordination among G20 member countries. And then I was provided with a draft communique for the Washington summit. And then in the Washington summit, there was a reference to macroeconomic coordination. I came to the Sherpa's meeting in Washington, D.C., and I came to find that other than Korea, nobody supported this terminology, macroeconomic coordination. And then it was because they said, well, G20, we are sovereign states. We cannot really uh, enter into macroeconomic coordination. Maybe the maximum we can agree to, it will be macroeconomic cooperation. Nobody would be supporting macroeconomic coordination. But at the same time, today, everybody takes it for granted that G20 is there in order to discuss macroeconomic coordination. So that, I think, yesterday I was listening to Mr. Trichet, and then he was talking about how Basel III could be so quickly agreed upon in comparison with Basel I and then Basel II. And then I have the same thing with respect to this, this macroeconomic coordination in the sense that when, I first, when Korea first proposed it, then nobody supported the idea. But now we have a very firm mechanism called the Pittsburgh Framework through which we are doing that. That is to say macroeconomic coordination. That's the first point. My second point is we were preparing for the third summit in Pittsburgh, and then uh, it was under the U.S. presidency, and then U.S. presidency came up with this idea of framework. And then this is what I told my American shopper, my colleague in the United States. And then I said, what I'm so, I'm so appreciative of the initiative the United States is taking. Why? Because it will be under the strong leadership in the G20 member countries that this kind of uh, initiative could be taken. So it, was, it, I think, was possible under the U.S. presidency, and then exactly for the reason, for the same reason, we are looking forward to the French presidency with its experience and capacity. We have time 